Hello, in this tutorial we'll be talking about the in-context viewer. First we'll look at how to open it and then we'll talk about some features. If you plan to view web content in the in-context viewer, you will need the Workbench extension beta. Files such as HTML, InDesign, INDD, IDML, or InDesign packages will not need the extension. To install the extension, open Chrome web browser, head to more tools, and then extensions. That will bring this page up. And from here, click on the three bars in the upper left hand corner for the main menu. Go to the bottom for open Chrome web store. And then you can search for Lingotech and you'll want to find the Lingotech workbench extension beta. Add that to Chrome, and then you'll be ready to begin. To use the in-context viewer, first you need to open the document into the workbench. The in-context viewer is only available in the new workbench. To get there, just go to View, and then Workbench Beta. The main point of the in-context viewer is to give you an idea of what the web page will look like after the content has been translated. So when you make changes, you can see them as they would appear on the web page. You can navigate the segments normally, and the in-context viewer will highlight as you go, or you can highlight in the in-context viewer, and it will jump to the corresponding segment. If you need to compare the source to the target, Click on each one here. If you'd like to open the web page in a new window, you can click here. You can change some of your options here with the gear icon. And if you don't need the in context viewer at all, you can close it here. If you need to reopen it, go to View and then Show Context Viewer. You can also use Alt X as a hotkey to open. Thanks again for joining us. Happy translating.